New Caledonia is such a really unique place in the world because we have so many reefs and uh, in these reefs living are uh, the mantas. We think it's a small population, it might be isolated. This is why we think it's important to, to try to investigate on these populations. My PhD is to work on the basic questions, where they are, how many they are, and uh, what kind of behaviour they can have here. To answer those questions, we're going to use different tools. The first one is the photo ID to characterise the population. We're also using genetics. Genetics will answer many questions, especially about the health of the population and also about the different connection between groups. The last tool we're using is tagging. Uh, tagging gives us really fine information on the behavior and as well as the movements of the manta rays. We're going to be tagging these mantas with a special type of archival satellite tag, uh, which has FastLock GPS, which means that every time that the manta comes to the surface, it gets a position data, and then if it's on the surface for long enough, it will actually send that data back to the satellites, and Hugo will be able to see exactly what that manta has been doing. We need to um, basically attach the tag to the back of the manta, and we do that with a titanium dart. We will slowly come up upon the manta, then we use the pole spear to basically insert the uh, titanium dart into the dorsum of the manta. The manta does feel it's like a bee sting and it will usually fly away, but very shortly thereafter we almost always see them come back and they're in relaxed mode again. There's about 60 manta rays in 2 and they're always the same group of manta rays we can observe every time we go in the water. Mantas, of course, are big animals, but surprisingly, there's a lot we don't know about them. And especially if we're going to be doing conservation with these animals, we need to know where they're moving. Tagging, satellite tagging, is really one of the only ways that we have to, to really accurately see what their movements are, when they're coming into cleaning stations, when they're doing feeding, and where they're diving. And from that, we can then design management interactions to prevent negative interactions with fisheries. Manta rays are such special animals. When you are in the water with a manta ray, you have some interaction that you won't have with any other animals on the planet. And that's why I love manta rays, because they are very intelligent animals and you can feel it when you are in the water. We need the healthy ecosystems to have healthy population of manta ray and the other way around. And that's why you want to protect them, because you protect what you love.